for calibration of your fiber optic temperature sensing equipment, you always want to have two independent points of temperature measurement at a minimum. And each of those points, ideally we like to use coolers, and you want to have a coil of cable that's at least 10 meters more and better like 20 meters long suspended inside the cooler and ideally no part of the cable is touching the walls of the cooler so with c temps we'll send some of these plastic brackets that keep a coil of cable suspended in the water column and away from the sides of the cooler for your calibration bath in the cooler you'll have a structure like this where your cable will be mounted and to circulate the water in the calibration bath you'll have a bubbler and the bubbler stone is where the bubbles come out and will circulate around the bath to mix the reservoir and there are two o-rings on that bubbler stone that keep the stone from moving once it's inside the cooler. The bubbler is powered by a small solar panel which we will attach to an independent battery and uh, this solar panel will be mounted on the DTS box but before I show you how to mount it I'll show you where all of the connections go. So here on the back of the solar panel is the charge controller and there is a blue and yellow plug that goes to the solar panel. That cable comes from the solar panel and plugs in here. Next is a plug that goes to the battery. Plug into the cable that's mounted here, red and black, which is designed to go to a large battery. Positive is red, negative is black. The last connector on the charge controller on the back of the solar panel is for the load, and the load is the bubbler. Plug that in here. Again, red and black. There's only one way to plug those in. And uh, that goes to our bubbler, which will be connected through tubing to the air stones and go into your calibration bath.